So welcome to our webinar, Robotic Solutions, uh, Productive, Qualitative, Robotive. Uh, first of all, some uh, organizational um, topics. Please uh, mute your microphones. Um, furthermore, I would like to inform you that uh, the webinar will be recorded. So it means you can also uh, watch it on our um, YouTube channel afterwards. And uh, please uh, keep your questions at the end of the presentation. There will be a possibility to ask them. So I will start. So automation is on everybody's uh, lips. And I would like to present you what is relevant in automation with robots, especially with robots. And hopefully I'm able, yeah. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Heiko Röhrig. I am uh, the head of sales and marketing at EGS Automation. From my education, I am an electrical engineer. Um, I am in the robotics since 1999. Uh, that means uh, more than 20 years. Worked uh, for 13 years for a robot manufacturer. And in the meanwhile, for more than 10 years for EGS Automation. Uh, short summary about uh, our agenda for today. So first of all, I will introduce the company, some facts about EGS. Uh, second point is to inform you about some robot basics. Um, in the third uh, is um, an overview um, about application areas for robots, what uh, robots, where robots fit well and where maybe not. Uh, then some information about turnkey solutions. What can you expect from a turnkey supplier if you decide to do the automation by yourself? What need you to uh, do on your own effort? Then some information about customer specific solutions that we offer. And in the opposite, some information about our standard automation uh, program. A uh, little summary of our uh, support and service um, capabilities. And finally, if you want to go ahead with us, what would be the next steps? About EGS automation. So we develop and implement uh, specialized as well as standardized automation solutions. Um, we do that with mainly industrial robots, so nearly 99% of our systems have as a minimum one robot inside. We do this for, for a wide variety of industries, but with a focus on uh, metal and plastics industry. And inside uh, these two fields for very different areas and application and tasks. So um, a short uh, overview about the contrast, some contrast examples. So um, we have it, uh, we, we, we handle work pieces in uh, a small gram area as well as very heavy duty work pieces with more than 100 kilogram. For example, we have applications in micro assembling as well as heavy duty handling, or we work in a clean room environment with a, a clean room class uh, around ISO 6 or lower, for example, with a laminar flow box in a plastic molding applications. And we also work in environments where uh, machine tools have to be unloaded and loaded uh, with, with cooling lubricant uh, uh, moving around everywhere. Uh, some figures about us. In the meanwhile, uh, from the beginning, we have installed nearly 2,000 robots. Uh, the figure 1850 is uh, status from end of last year. That means in the meanwhile, we are around uh, at 2000. We currently install between 110 and 240 robots per year. That depends a little bit on the project, project structure in the year. Uh, to give you an uh, impression, the German market is around 20,000 units a year. That means in a good year, we are uh, responsible for 1% of the whole German market. And we have experience in the use of robotics uh, since 1999. And that is the reason why we search an ad adjective uh, to describe us well and found none. And uh, therefore, we created our own, which is uh, robotive. 
So in English, it should be an, an E at the end. So uh, hopefully you can uh, accept this also in this German version. So what is a robot? Uh, at the beginning, this is a description in the standardization. I don't want to, to read it. You can read it while I explain. And on the bottom, there are some examples what a robot is. Every of those manipulators uh, fits to this uh, standardization. So on the left side, in the beginning, this is a SCARA robot, a four-axis robot, um, very often used for a quick uh, pick and place applications as well as for, as for assembly applications. Uh, this robot here, and this is uh, nearly the same size from two different manufacturers, uh, a typical six axis articulated uh, robot. This one here is a seven axis robot with a seventh x here. That means this robot is able to, to work around the edge. A robot that looks quite like a, a human with two arms with uh, seven axes in, on each arm and one turning x for the whole body. And last but not least, on the right side, uh, a coll collaborative robot, a cobot, uh, which you can use to do collaborative uh, applications. So we, we talk about different designs. There are the serial kinematics, uh, where the axis in the direction of action are uh, uh, serial. Um, one example is a typical six axis articulated robot, as well as a four axis palletizing uh, robot, as well as a SCARA robot, or a combination of linear axis, a portal robot. The other side is a parallel kinematics, where the axes are parallel in the direction of action. And two examples are the, the Delta robot, a, a very fast picker with nearly 120 cycles per minute, uh, very often used in the food industry, and a very um, seldom part is uh, the hexapod. Some fact or facts about the robot density in the world. A robot density means the number of robots installed in a country or an area uh, compared to 10,000 employees. And uh, on place one and two are Singapore and uh, Korea. Um, well known, uh, Japan is a, a country with a very high robot density. On fourth place is Germany and the other countries. And these are the regions. So as higher as the robot density is, as more automation is installed. So robots can do everything, right? Not really. Robots are very good at handling uh, repetitive tasks with a constant speed and accuracy. So uh, a data sheet uh, value is the repeatability according to ISO. This is a, a specification. And also a, a, a data sheet value is the single axis speed. What is not on a data sheet, but very often very important is the absolute uh, accuracy, the pass accuracy, and the in resulting interpolated uh, speed. This means uh, how fast is the robot really moving, uh, uh, looking on the on the tool itself. And of course, robots are only as good as their environment. Uh, very important is the tool on the robot, for example, the gripper. And of course, also the devices and the peripherals uh, in the robot environment. And the third important point is uh, the program, the movement of the robot. And there are different possibilities, uh, sorry, to come to that uh, uh, program. You can do it by teaching uh, with, the, with the teaching pendant as well as offline in a simulation. Uh, or robo guiding um, when you use a cobot is very uh, common in the meanwhile that you can really guide the robot by hand. For example, also with a post processor where you can use CAD data uh, to create the robot program and several other possibilities. Areas of applications. 
Um, the first three, handling, palletizing, assembling, are the main applications we are working in. And the others are site applications. We very, inter very often integrate in an existing, for example, handling process. Uh, we integrate additional uh, testing and uh, marking process. So there is a higher automation of the whole uh, process and we can take manual uh, working to the robot automation. So, As I said, I would like to give you an, an overview about the, um, the cost or the, the, the cost breakdown. Uh, of a turnkey project. So if you have here for a typical example for 100,000 euro project for machine tool automation, you can roughly uh, estimate the robot is around 25%. The tool, the end effector on the robot is around 10%. The workpiece storage is around 20%. The safety fence is around uh, 5%. Engineering, makes 10%. The CE, the documentation and the risk analysis uh, are around 7%. The programming is uh, 8%. Uh, the, the assembly and the commissioning are 8 and 5%. And finally, the training for the, for the workers uh, is around 2%. If you uh, would like to do it on your own, that means you have to bring around 40% of the whole investment from your own contribution. And um, the machinery directive uh, and safety requirements also apply in your own company, of course. That means you have to ask yourself, do you have really the experience to do that, especially this uh, um, special task uh, which need a deep know-how, and do you have really the capacity? Turnkey means for us that our goal is to offer our customers reliable and durable, complete solutions. And we would like to develop our customers without robot experience, so the new robot users through training and assistance, so that they can set up changes and new variants by themselves. And a lot of our customers develop uh, very, very hard. So they they really do uh, partly new parts on their own, including the uh, the changes they have to do on the Cripper, for example. What you get from us uh, for a turnkey system is everything from the idea to the realization up to the maintenance at the end. Uh, that means if you have a, an idea you hopefully get a competent consulting and uh, we would uh, offer you an, an, a concept, hopefully innovative. Uh, if you decide to order the system from us, uh, the complete development, engineering, construction, implementation and commissioning and programming, uh, we do in our house with own uh, people, with own personnel. And then we have a, a, a pre-acceptance test in our house together with you, uh, where the system is running nearly completely. So uh, there is still maybe the machine is on your side, but we test the system and have the pre-acceptance pre test with a with a full uh, full system in our house. Then we ship it uh, to your side, uh, the commissioning on your side, a training, and then you can work with the system on your own. We offer then a preventive maintenance, uh, as well as finally, after some years of production, uh, the necessary service and repair. So um, a comparison, com customer-specific solution, you can get from us a, 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 a solution for metal industry or for plastic applications, our project sizes, uh, from 70,000 euros up to 1.5 million euros. So very uh, high variety of, of project sizes, very simple solutions for, for easy applications as well as uh, very complicated. And uh, as I already said, every uh, solution will be roboted. 
Some words about our standards. On the right side of the slide, you see uh, the explanation what SUMO means. SUMO is the, the brand name uh, for our standards. And on the left side, you see four examples. Um, it is always the same. Uh, we, we store material. We bring material with the robot into a machine or a process. And after processing, we take out the material and bring it back to, back to the storage. And this leads to an autonomy of the system. And this finally uh, gives the possibility that you can work one hour, two hours, one shift, uh, uh, personal free with the, with the machine. Standard automation has several advantages. Of course, lower engineering cost because 80% of the standard system is already done. Only 20% will be customer specific everywhere where the system is in contact with the workpiece, uh, with the workpiece carrier or with the machine uh, is customer specific, but 80% are standard. We have shorter implementation times, of course, uh, shorter commissioning times because there's a lot of experience on our side. And of course, you uh, get sophisticated systems. The standard automation EGS Zumo uh, includes 10 different systems, mainly for workpiece storage and handling on pallets or without pallets. And we have one system for deburring of parts. Some words about our support and service. You can get from us a maintenance by order for your robot or the whole systems. Of course, we also offer maintenance contracts. That means we will come once a year, check uh, the, the lubrication of the robot, and every second year we change the, the buffer batteries, and that's it. And you will get an in a contract, you will get an uh, all-inclusive price, including travel costs, uh, labor costs, and all the material. We offer robot programming training in our company on special training robots for Yaskawa and Epson robots. Programming services on your system, so if you need additional part or need uh, um, some other movements. The robot service on itself, uh, the repair of the system, and of course you also can all, only buy spare parts and repair uh, by your own. So, Support and service means for us, us as much as you want, but not more than you need. Support in building up and improving know-how on your side. So we don't want to keep the know-how on our side. We like to improve our customers that they can do as much as possible on their own with the system they got from us. So if you're interested, what would be the next steps? First of all, um, uh, together uh, identifying the potential in the manufacturing environment. If you uh, do not know what would be the best start, then setting priorities together, looking for the low hanging fruits. Uh, if they are set up, you should uh, define the tasks more precisely in a task description or a specific specification. Uh, must not be uh, 50, 50 slides, just a, a definition as a, as a base on a, a quotation. Uh, with that, you will get a conception and the first indicative offer from our side. With that indicative offer price, you can check the, the possible profitability and uh, compare it with your budget. And uh, if that fits, you get a, a, a uh, offer an offer that you can order, and if you order, of course, we will realize that and implement the system on your side. So, I would be happy if you become with us productive, qualitative, and robotive. And now is the point where you can ask questions, and I try to ask them, uh, to answer them. Sorry. Yeah, one question. Thank you for the presentation. Um, what are the main differentiation key points um, in regards to competition in such activities? What are the main EGS key uh, points, key advantages? Um, 
I, I hope I understood it right because my my speaker is not so loud. You are asking for our uh, key points, our key uh, knowledge. Key, yes, key differentiation in regards to competition in such activity. Okay, so first of all, we have a, a, a deep knowledge in robot integration, so there will not be so many integrators with that many robots in the field. And we have a deep knowledge in uh, machine tending, uh, laces, machining machines, uh, where metal is uh, processed. And of course, we have a deep knowledge in uh, injection molding machines, where you have to bring in uh, inlay parts, then inject them, and then uh, uh, process the parts further on, and finally uh, pack them in customer-specific uh, uh, packages. Okay, thank you. Any further questions? Okay, then I would like to thank you. Uh, if you have, uh, of course, you can also contact me uh, uh, afterwards. And I hope you enjoyed it and got some uh, deeper information about robotic solutions. Thank you very much.